Hey, in this video, we're going to be talking all about odds to win and how to increase your chances of winning. If you're an options trader, then you definitely know, or you should know, that the price of the stock is the ultimate decider of how profitable you're going to be with your options trade, or at least what your win rate or loss rate will be. So if you want to learn how to get yourself to that upper echelon of a win rate, especially 95% or higher, then you're going to want to stick around and watch this video. So let's go. All right, everyone, Lee Lowell here from smartoptionseller.com. So we're talking all about win rate here, odds to win. Now, if you're an options trader, you have to understand that the trading is all about probability. Probability is going to be the main theme of this video here today. Why is that? Because like I said, the the ultimate decider of how profitable or not profitable you're going to be with your options trading all comes down to the probability of the stock being at point a by x date now the x date is the expiration date so if you're an options trader it all comes down to where the stock ends up on expiration date if you're going to hold that trade to expiration which in my opinion most option traders do so probability is a big deal here we have to figure out what the probability is of that stock hitting point a by x date and that's going to decide your your win rate or your win odds so if you want to learn how to get to that like 95 percent or higher win rate or win our odds to win let me show you what we do and what you should start to do as an options trader here at the smart option seller we're all about option selling specifically put option selling and that's how we get into that 95 percent odds to win rate okay so if, if you're familiar with put selling if you sell a put option contract it's all about obligating yourself to potentially buy a stock of your choice at a price of your choice sometime in the future but what you might not know is picking that strike price of the put option is paramount to getting into that 95 percent odds to win section if you will so how do you pick option trades how do you sell put options that are going to get you into that 95 percent you know odds to win rate area i should say one thing you need to know is that as a put option seller it is a more bullishly oriented strategy okay so you want to pick stocks quality stocks that have the opportunity that are going to be moving higher over time now in general the stock market itself goes up over time so you're already starting with an advantage versus the put option buyer someone who buys put options is expecting the stock or the market to go down in price but if you're in in for the long haul if you're going to sell put options for the long haul you've got direction on your side what you see on the screen here in front of you is a chart a long-term chart of the s p 500 represented by the spx okay this is the s p 500 index now on my screen here we're looking at a monthly chart of the s p 500 if you can see down at the bottom here going back to 1983 and i'm actually going to pull the chart even farther back my chart goes all the way back to probably the late 1960s 1970 right around here you can see 1971 is the last date listed chart goes a little further back than that so let's just say 1970 as you can see since 1970 and even further back than that my chart just doesn't have that much data you can see the stock market goes up over time now here in 1999 2000 we had the dot-com meltdown but the market started to go up again we had in 2008 2009 the the financial crisis but look where the market's gone since then up 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 we hit that little snag in uh here is the covid the covid meltdown right here which got bought right back up and here is the highs in 2022 came off and now we're starting to rally again so you can see over time the stock market goes up which is favorable to put option selling strategies because it's a bullishly oriented strategy so if you're going to be a put seller over the long run you've got long-term direction working on your side now if you're a put option buyer you're playing with fire because you're already at a disadvantage you need the market to go down if you're if you're a put option buyer so if the market goes up over time what do you think is going to happen to all those put option contracts that you're buying 
they're going to expire worthless and you're going to lose your money as a put option buyer. So who do you think's the winners in this case? Well, it's the put option sellers. Let me show you a little chart here that was put out by the Chicago Mercantile Exchange from 1997 to 1999. They wanted to know what were the percentage of put options that expired worthless at expiration. Okay, so if you're if if you're a put option buyer and you keep buying put options thinking the market's going to go down, you're at a disadvantage. If you're the put option seller and the market's going up, you're at a great advantage. So if you look at this chart right here, this last column right here, and we're focusing on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 because those are stock index options. Okay, we're not looking at Euro dollar, Japanese yen, live cattle. Those are more commodities. So the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 over here, 93.9% to 95.2% put options expired worthless meaning the people that were buying these things were losing up to 95 percent of the time over this three-year period now we can go back and look at the stock market from 1997 to 1999 which was roughly this little section right here okay this little section right here the market was certainly going up during that time so these put options were expiring worthless, at least on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. And put option sales were making great money. So we had a little dip here for a couple of years, and then the market started to go up again. But over the long run, over the long run, this is a winning strategy because you have long-term direction on your side. So I don't want to be buying options that have a 95% chance of losing up to 95% of the time. I want to be the person that's winning 95% of the time. So the way that we sell put options, we get into that, that upper echelon here. So let me just show you what we can do here. And we're going to look at, let's look at an example here. Let's bring up our option chain from Interactive Brokers. Okay. So how do you decide, how are you going to get a 95% chance of winning. How, how do you know that most people, when they trade options, they have no idea what their probability, their win probability is going to be. They just think, I'm just going to buy or sell an option contract and I'm just, we'll just see what happens. Okay. So there's more to it than that. You have to understand, like I said, it's all about pro probability. What are the chances of the stock being at point A by X date in order for you to win on the trade? You have to understand that. So you need to have some kind of way to calculate what are your odds of winning. Now, what we do in, in the smart options sell, when we sell put options, what we do is we try to figure out where the stock is not going to go versus most people try to figure out where the stock is going to go. That's not how we do. We, we're, we're defensive in this way. We figure out where the stock has the least chance of ending up. If you think about the insurance companies and the casinos, their whole model is all about what are the chances of a, of a player not winning at the at the you know at the casino and the insurance companies are all, all about what are the ch the chances of the of the driver not getting into an accident or what are the chances of your house not burning down you know they look at it from that perspective so the, the way that we do it in the options market is we try to figure out where the stock is not likely to go and then we make our option trade based on that so Here's a here's an option chain for Apple, okay? And we want to figure out, you know, which put option contract can we sell that's going to help us get into that at least 95% odds of winning. So here's this is on Friday, um, June 9th. Apple ended at roughly $180.81. So if we want to sell a put option, uh, which strike do we choose and which expiration do we choose? Now, number one, your number one goal is if you're going to sell put options, you have to choose quality stocks. You have to choose a stock that you have a real genuine interest in potentially owning shares of that stock. OK, so you never want to sell a put option on a on a stock that you have no interest in owning. Now, we know Apple's a great company, um, you know, in our service, I, we would be fine owning shares of any one of these stocks that we pick. So as an example, this is just an example only, we're going to look at Apple here and Apple's trading just under $181 a share. What do we do? So we want to look at a strike price that's at a minimum, at a minimum, 20% below the current stock price. Okay. 
So 20% below this would be roughly $36. That'd be you know, roughly $145 strike price. Okay, so 145 strike price is right here. 145, here's the strike price. Here's the put option. So on Friday, June 9th, here's how that put option went out. 46 cent bid at 49 cent offer. Something in the middle, let's just say 40 cents a contract that you can sell that put option for. You get $47 for every put option contract you sell. Now, what you're doing is obligating yourself to potentially buy 100 shares of Apple at $145 a share in the next 68 days. Apple's currently at $180, $181. So what you're trying to figure out is what is the probability of Apple falling from $181 all the way down to $145 in the next 68 days? If Apple does fall that far, then you'll be required to buy 100 shares at $145 and you'll get a nice $35, $36 dollar discount from where Apple is currently trading. So you want to know what are the chances of that happening? So we can go to our trusty probability calculator here. So we're going to put in the trade for Apple, the potential, um, not a live trade here. We're going to put in $180.81. Now this is a probability calculator that we use at Smart Option Seller. And the date is in 68 days from now. And it's going to default to that August 18th. Let's just make sure that's the right date. Okay, so August 18th, 2023 is in 68 days. So we got the, the, t the date right. And the future volatility of Apple is roughly 21%. Now, where do we get that number from? And what does that number mean? Volatility just tells you how erratic Apple has been trading in the past, the stock. And we project it out to the future. It, volatility is percentage number. This is 21%. Now, we can go back to the option chain here. And we can see August, there's a little trick you can use right here. It says IV, that means implied volatility is 20.3% for these for this specific option expiration contract. So we just round up, we'll put 21%. So we want to know what the chances of Apple falling to $145 in the next 68 days. We put in the target of $145 in both boxes. We click on go. So here's what, here's what, what it's telling us. We're going to look at this box. And we're going to look at this box here. First box is telling us there's only a 0.74% chance. That's less than 1% chance that Apple will fall from $180 all the way down to $145 in the next 68 days. Conversely, from the other side. So this is the option buyers. This is the put option buyers chances of winning. Less than 1%. In order for them to win, if they hold the trade to expiration, they have a less than 1% chance of winning. Conversely, over here, there's a 99.25% chance that Apple will not. Remember, we're trying to figure out where the stock will not go. So there's a 99.25% chance that Apple will not fall down to $145. That is the option seller, the put option seller's odds to win on this trade. Over 99% odds of winning on this trade. Now, what does winning mean actually when you sell put options? Well, whenever you sell an option contract, whether it's a call option or put option, you want that option to expire worthless. Okay, you sell it at a certain price at the beginning of the trade. Now, let's take a look at that price again. So the 145 puts are trading around 47 cents a contract. That means that means you're going to get $47 for every single contract that you sell. And if the trade expires worthless, that means that option will have zero value at expiration. So you sold it at 47 cents as the initial transaction, and then it expires worthless, meaning you keep all the $47 for every contract that you sell. If you sold 10 contracts, you'll get $470. But remember, for every contract that you trade, it's worth 100 shares of stock. So you have to know how many shares of stock you may be on the hook to potentially buy in the future. All right. So what we've done here is that We've learned that the probability of Apple falling from its current price all the way down to 145 is less than 1% chance, meaning the put option buyers have a less than 1% chance of winning on the trade, whereas the put option sellers, who, that's who we are, have over a 99% odds of winning on the trade. And by winning, we mean we're going to collect that $47 and move on to the next trade. Now, if Apple does happen to fall down, to 145 by expiration, then we'll have to fulfill our obligation and buy the 100 shares at $145.
But to you, that's a good price. You just got a $36 discount from where Apple's been trading. Now, what you can do is you can always look at a chart. So let's look at Apple here for a second and we'll look at the daily chart. Now, you can see Apple uh, has just eclipsed all time new highs here just this past week. So if you what you can do um, when trying to decide which strike price to choose, not only using that probability, but you you can decide, hey, where would be a, a you know, a good place for me to buy some shares of Apple. Where would I be comfortable buying shares of Apple? We just picked the 145 strike because that's the 20% discount from the current price. That's that's what we use. That's one of the parameters that we use. But you can choose any strike you want. You can go all the way down to the 125 strike if you want because that was the last low that Apple made a few months ago. Or you can choose the 160 strike and decide, you know, if, if Apple fell from 180 to 160, would you be okay buying shares of Apple at that price? And what you can do is you always go back. You can always go back to the, the probability calculator. So let's see what the chances are of Apple falling down to 160 by expiration in 68 days. Okay, let's use the same target in both boxes. Click go. All right, so now we're looking at, you know, the buyers have an 8.8% chance of winning the sellers have a 91.1% chance of winning, meaning there's a 91.1% chance that Apple will not fall that far down to 160. That's the probability. How much can you get for those uh, 160 puts? Let's see. The 160 puts are trading about $1.30. That means you'll get $130 for every contract that you sell. Now, if you were looking at the 125 puts, you'd get about $17 for every contract that you sell, but you have a lot more buffer. Apple has to fall a lot farther in order for you to have to be called upon to buy the 100 shares of Apple. But if you bought Apple, you know, at $125 a share, that's the, it's got a long way to fall. That could be a really good place to buy shares of Apple. And then maybe Apple will go back up again. And now you're holding 100 shares, getting that nice price appreciation again over time. So it's all about the probability you have to know what are the chances of a stock not falling to a certain level. That's what you're doing when you're selling put options. You want to make sure that the stock is not going to drop. So you want to have that very high probability to get you into that at least, you know, 90%, 95% or higher odds to win. Okay, so remember on our little uh, CME data sheet here, Nine, up to 95% of the time over this three-year period, these put options were expiring worthless. And in the long run, we know that the stock market goes up over time. We can use the SPY here, which is the ETF, the exchange traded fund for the S&P 500. And we can look, uh, let's go back to the long-term chart here. We'll look at the monthly, if my chart will cooperate. Okay. So, the stock market goes over time. And if you're picking quality stocks as well, you don't have to pick the index. If you're picking quality stocks that go up over time, it, it's going to be easy to get into that upper echelon of the, the win rate, the odds to win. All right. So that's really all about how we do it and how you can get yourself into that 95% odds to win area by picking stocks quality stocks that have absolutely no chance of falling to a certain level. Now, this is a very slow and steady, very conservative type of option strategy. We're not here to try to guess or make a speculation where the stock's going to run to because those ha have a high uh, probability of losing. You know how hard it is to try to guess where a stock is going to be on a certain date? If you're an option buyer, that's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to predict where the stock's going to end up on the expiration date. No one could do that consistently over time. That's But that's what the option buyers are doing. So as option sellers, you're automatically going to have a much higher win opportunity because you're figuring out where the stock is not going to go. And with that high probability, gives you you know almost guaranteed money. I'm not going to say it's guaranteed 100% because nothing's guaranteed 100%. The probability calculator that we look at, it's all just a probability. It's not a guarantee. But based on the, the past history of the stock, 
The probability doesn't take direction, past direction into account. Probability calculator takes into account the ranges of the highs and lows, like how the stock has moved up and down over time. It doesn't have anything to do with direction. But the probability here is saying that based on, you know, Apple's last movements, there's a really low chance that it can fall or move that far. I'm not going to say fall. There's a very low chance that it can move that far in the next 68 days. Now, if you want to look at, we can look at another stock here. We can look at some Tesla options. Okay. And, you know, a lot of people love trading Tesla options. Now, if we're going out to, this is something that I, that I um, talked about, and I'm going to put this video on the screen, this exact Tesla trade that we talked about a couple months ago. And then also put another video on the screen, a uh, video that I made all about selling put options, what it is. So when you're done watching this video, you can click on those videos and, and watch a little bit more about what we've been talking about. So here in Tesla, we're looking at these January 19, 2024 options, which expire in 222 days. And we're looking at this $50 strike. So here's Tesla, $243. And we're looking at the 50 strike. So Tesla has to fall really far to get down to 50. And right now it's worth about 27 cents a contract. When we first made the video, these, these puts were trading about $1.25 per contract. So the price of the options gone down, which is at what you want as an option seller. And the stock price has gone up for Tesla. So Let's take a look at what the opportunity here is for you to win. If you were to sell these put options, these 50 strike put options for 27 cents a contract, 222 days. So let's go back to our calculator here. So Tesla's at 243.88. All right. So let's let's do this real quick. 243.88 and 222 days in the future. And you'll see that it moves it out to the January 2024 date. Volatility for Tesla is about 55%. And we want to go down to the 50 strike and see what the chances of Tesla falling that far in that amount of time. This is a lot of time. 222 days is a lot of time. So hit click go. And there's what we get. <laughs> One tenth, is that a hundredth of a percent? Or basically 99.9% .9 opportunity to win as a put option seller. So you can sell those $50 strike put options for Tesla, get about 27 cents or 27 actual dollars in your pocket for the opportunity to buy Tesla for $50 a share. Now there's, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that Tesla will not fall that far in the next 222 days. So you'll just walk away with your $27 um, in that time frame if that's what you want to do. Okay, this is not a real trade. It's just an example of showing you what it's all about. So if you want to understand how to get into that 95% win uh, odds to win area, you have to understand what probability is all about. You have to understand the the option price is totally dependent on the stock price. So if you can figure out where the stock's not going to move versus where you think it might move to, then you're going to have a much higher probability of winning on your trades, which in the long run, you'll have more wins and your account will keep growing over time. Nice, slow and steady. You know, we're not trying to hit these home runs. We're not trying to hit the lotto trades. We're slow and steady building the portfolio value up over time. All right. So that's really all about it for today. It's all about probability. Once again, I'm going to put these two videos on the screen. You want to watch those if you want to see or read more about what put selling is all about, why we love it so much. I'll put a link down in the description, read down in the description there. Uh, it's a free ebook. It's called Put Selling Basics. It's our free ebook. And if you want to learn a little bit more about what we do here at the Smart Options Seller, you can also see um, we have a couple newsletters. Here we go right here in the services tab. We have our two newsletters. We have our one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you want to go to right to the Put Selling Basics um, page, you can click here too. But everything is down in the description below. Okay, that's all for me today. I hope this video has given you an idea of how to really increase your odds of winning and how to get yourself into that upper echelon and start building your account value as an options trader. Give me a like here. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the video. All right, that's all for me today. I hope everyone has a great weekend and a great trading week ahead. This is Lee Lowell signing off.